In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful countdown timer like this, which you can show to the online audience before the event begins. Let's get started. If you have not watched my earlier video on OBS Studio and Virtual Camera, I highly recommend you watch that first because we will be using that as the basis for this video. The link to the video is in the description below. In the previous video, we learned how to create a scene with a web camera and PowerPoint. To create a countdown timer, we need different elements in our scene. Let's start by creating a new scene. We start by clicking on the plus sign here at the bottom and let's give a name to the scene. I will call it countdown timer. Click OK. Now we have a blank canvas. Let's start adding the elements. The first thing we need is a video. There are many websites that allow you to download free videos. My favorite is this one, pexels.com. The link to this website is in the description of the video. You can search for any kind of video and you can download it to your PC. For example, if I want to search for bouncing balls, click search and it will give you different videos that you can download related to that search. The video that I'm going to use for our countdown project is this one. As we can see, we can download it for free and we have different resolutions available for us. I will download the high resolution, the full HD one, click on the free download button and the video will be downloaded to my PC. To add the video as one of the sources for a countdown timer video, I will come to the sources, click plus and choose media source. We can give a name to our source. Let's call it video and click OK. Click on the browse button and navigate to your folder where you have stored the video. In my case, it's on the desktop. I click on it, click open. An important setting that you need to enable is this loop option. Make sure it is ticked. This will make sure that once the video reaches the end, it will restart and continue playing. And there we have it, our first source in the countdown timer. If you want to add any image or logo, we can follow the same process. Click on the plus. This time we will choose image. Again, give a name to your image. Let's call it logo. Click OK, click Browse, navigate to your folder where you have stored the image, select it and click Open and choose OK. You can move the image around, you can resize it. If this is a corporate logo and the company has branding guidelines, make sure you follow all branding guidelines when using the logo in your presentation. Next, let us add some text. Click plus and this time choose text. Give a name to your text. Let's call it heading. Click OK. And in this section, I will type the text that I want to appear on the screen. I will type photography workshop. Click OK. I can resize the text, make it small or big and position it properly on the screen. Let's add one more text. Again, click plus text. This time we will call it subheading. Click OK. And let's say the text will be will start in dot dot dot. Click OK. Move it around. Resize it. Position it. And finally, we will put a timer here. So click plus. Again, add text. And we will call it timer text. Click OK. And let's say I want the timer to be shown as hours, minutes and seconds. Click OK. Move it around and resize it. Make it big. Position it properly. The final thing we need to do is activate this timer. And we do that by clicking on Tools, Scripts. And we have a script here for a countdown timer. Enter the duration for your countdown timer. Let's say the event will start in 30 minutes and uh, select where the text should be shown. 
In this case, we want to show it in the timer text, that is the text that I created, and the final text, how it should appear once the timer is done. And as you can see, we have a countdown in progress. And the final step is to start our virtual camera. And we do that by clicking here, start virtual camera. And this is what will be now visible in your Zoom meetings if you set your video camera to OBS virtual camera. There you have it, a countdown timer created using OBS, which can be projected as a virtual camera in your Zoom or other online meetings. If you like this tutorial, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel.